Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make four different decorations for this upcoming Easter. Let's get into it. All right, full disclosure, I saw this group of decorations on Etsy. You can buy the entire group, if memory serves me correctly, for around 36 bucks. You can tell in the pictures that they're all made out of one by material and they're kind of small. So I'm gonna kind of pull a Matthew Peach here. I'm gonna show you how you can make them yourselves for a lot less money. I'm still gonna use one by material, but I'm gonna upscale the size of mine a little bit. The first project is super simple. You just need a square piece of wood. I used a piece of one by material that I cut to six inches by six inches. I added a smaller piece of wood to the back just to help it stand upright. This is optional. You could also just use a thicker piece of wood. After staining one of them with dark stain, I drew out the design that I wanted and then went over it a few times with a paint pen. And there you go, quick and easy, great little signage for Easter. For the second project, I printed out a picture of the design and traced it onto some one by material. Again, you can use whatever thickness of wood you have available. Then I used my scroll saw to cut it out. You could also use a jigsaw, a bandsaw, or a coping saw. I painted it with paint that I picked up from the oops rack at the big box store for 50 cents. Once it was dry, I went over it with white paint. Then I sanded the edges with some rough sandpaper. The idea is that you get a little bit of that gray and a little bit of the wood coming back through, giving it a rustic or farm style look. I tied a little twine bow around the neck and project number two is complete. Project number three is very simple. You just need three pieces of one by material. After cutting the three pieces to length, I cut 45s on the end of each one of them to create the little house shape. I used a nail gun to make assembly go a little quicker, but glue is plenty strong enough by itself if you have the patience to let it dry, which I don't. And this is where my battery died and I didn't realize it. The little block of wood I'm adding is because I cut that back piece too short, but I'll make sure to make those adjustments on the plans before I upload them on the website. Just like the little angel, I painted it gray, then white, then sanded the edges to give it that worn look. As a final touch, I used some paint pens to add some details. Project three is in the bag and it's not even lunchtime yet. Project number four is the most complex, but it's still pretty easy. After tracing my design, I used the scroll saw to cut it out, making sure to save that little centerpiece to reuse. I use my router to put a heavy round over on the edges of one side, but this pine is so soft that you can do the same thing with a sander. After a quick sanding, I attach the little cutoff to the front. Then I gave it a quick coat of stain. Thank you. 
While it was drying, I started working on some little crosses. Now I decided to make my crosses from two pieces of wood using a cross lap joint, but you can simply just cut them out of a solid piece of wood using a jigsaw or a scroll saw. I attached the crosses with a pin nailer, but you could also glue them on or screw them in place with small screws. And voila! Fourth project is completed! Alright, our four Easter decorations are finished. These were really quick and easy projects that you can finish in a day with a minimal amount of tools. I went ahead and made an extra one of these signs. I just had the extra wood and I wanted to keep one natural. And on this one, I actually used an inkjet transfer on it. I have a full vid on how to do that. I'll leave a link in the description below. All of these items are not only great to decorate around your own home, but they also make great gifts or you can batch them out for your next craft sale. I will have templates and plans for all of these on our website. So make sure to hit the link below to head over there and print out a copy for yourself. We work on a new project every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.